Hi everybody, Dave Yelovic with Homes Built Right. We're out in the field again today and I found this house under construction and it's got something really neat. I want to show it to you and explain why it's really neat in just a minute. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome back. And uh, spray foam insulation, let's get right to it. I came upon this house, it's under construction and uh, we're down here in the south and uh, in climate zone three in this case and spray foam insulation is becoming more and more normal if you will in houses to meet the energy code in a future uh, video we're going to touch on the test we do the blower door test to test how tight a house can be we want houses to be tight we don't want them to breathe naturally and uh, we'll go into that in the next video but uh, spray foam insulation is a tool that builders can use nowadays to make a house tight and to give it good insulation value. Uh, some, some benefits of this. Normally, most of us are used to fiberglass insulation, bats that you roll in, you staple in, and it's been the, kind of the norm for the past few decades. But spray foam is a new technology. The costs have come way down and people can use this. Uh, some neat things that it provides is your house will be quieter. Uh, you can't tell, but right now, even without the sheetrock on, you can't hear the traffic going by on the street out in front of this house. Uh, it's very quiet. It's quiet material. Um, it also seals up a bunch of stuff. It's very forgiving. Um, you don't think about it, but there are lots of things uh, in the house that uh, there's little microscopic seams or holes, and this material seals this house up real tight. Um, well, again, we'll talk about tightness in a little, little bit. We're staring at a wall. This is open cell foam. It's kind of squishy if you were to push on it. Uh, it provides about R3.5 to R3.7 something per inch of material. This is a two by four wall, so we've got about an R13 wall here, which is great for down south. But uh, what you can't see, and I'll show you in a little bit, and I'll dub in here, is this continues all the way up and around the house to the other walls on the other side of the house. Uh, so we've got uh, spray foam over our heads going up over the rafters, down the other side and down the other walls of the house, creating what I call, uh, forgive me if, uh, you know, brand names, but a Yeti cooler or an Igloo cooler. Uh, we've created all four sides, roof, walls, sides, everything is spray foamed. Um, what we call it creates what we say is everything is in the conditioned space, even the attic, which in most normal attics, when we just blow insulation on top of the ceiling, if you will, in Texas, you'll have an attic that gets up to 140 something degrees in the summer. That's really hot considering that's where we put our air conditioning equipment, our water heater sometimes. So that's not the best situation for an air conditioner, but by sealing the attic, that space now kind of becomes part of the house. The attic in the summertime in Texas will be within a few degrees of the same temperature it is right here inside the living space. That's kind of cool. The air conditioner would love that, and uh, it's much more efficient, much more beneficial. So it's, uh, it's kind of a neat material, this spray foam insulation. It's got some good qualities. It costs maybe just a little more, but over the lifetime of the house, you're going to gain it back in energy savings. And I think uh, this is the, one of the ways of the future that uh, we're sealing up houses, getting a better insulated product and a quieter product, and it helps us meet the energy code. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you can, uh, subscribe to our channel, and uh, we'll continue to make these videos and share them with you all as we uh, have time. See you next time on Homes Built Right.